And here we are again. It's the next episode. It's been three seconds for me, but for you, probably a day. Actually, it's been a day. Radio! This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. That's bad. We'll have to swim to the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. Oh! We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded. Aha! Uh -huh. Interesting. Interesting. I think I'm gonna go there. Fucking CTOU. Chief Technical Officer of the Aurora. They sunk to 500 meters. Isn't that interesting? And they're saying that's beyond the safe limit for them? Hmm. Wait, did that just disappear when I put it in? Hey! What the hell? That's not okay. Uh, I guess I'll put my coal sample in f it, like... Mm, hold on. Food? Flora? I'm gonna call this fauna right here so they're right next to each other. It bothers me that I didn't do this before. This one, I may call something else. This can be the miscellaneous one. Fauna, bup, bup, bup. Flora. Uh, yup, 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 yup. And I also had some creature eggs in the back of my sea moth. But I think the alien containment thing that I can build, that is the one I will build in my big base that I will plan on making as a foundation for exploring the next alien facility. I'm going to make it somewhat close to there if I can. If there's a good spot, you know? But first, I want to go to CTOU, Slive Pod at 500 meters. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deposit some of this shit I have here, first of all. Bum bum, dup 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 dup. Titanium. Nope, that goes here. Like that. And... I guess I don't need all of that water, do I? Uh, I mean, it's not technically fauna, but... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> My OCD is annoying me right now. Crafted. Sure, put some water in there. Um, all of this I will bring. This is all good. Creature decoy? Can be deployed by hand or by submarine. I should put this in my little, uh, torpedo hole of my sea moth. Yeah. That sounds cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What did I want to do? I wanted to cure a couple of these. Or just... Uh, I can cook them later on, I guess. Yeah. I have my knife with me. All right, then. Ah, batteries. Amazing. Let me exchange all of them. This feels amazing, by the way. This right here. This is the tits. Yeah. Nice. Charge that shit. Oh, that feels great, huh? Come on, get up there. Save the game. Repair this. Okay. There we go. Get in. Okay. Off we go. On our next adventure. Ah, spadefish! Sorry, almost hit you there. Such a badass feature. I, I This is one of the coolest things in the game. It's so nice. Look how dark it is. It also helps me avoid some of the fish, so I don't crash into everything and kill everyone. Very soon, I will also, uh, I think I'll try to craft some of those upgrades for the 
prawn suit. I think that's been annoying me, and I think it is the prawn suit that I need for it, is to mine those big deposits that I find. That would be, that sounds so much simpler than finding all the small ones. I don't know how much is in one big one, maybe 10? Maybe more, maybe even more, you know? I really hope it's gonna be a dense version of the same material, you know, that you get more material for the same inventory space. That would be killer. I would love that so much. Oh, let me quickly do something. Uh, where's the... So, there. No? Uh, hold on. Why can I not put this in? Can I shoot a boomerang? Not quite. Damn it. Oh wait, I did have a torpedo in my inventory at base somewhere. So, it says here, use life pod sunk 500 meters before she abandoned it. Didn't I also have a... hold on. Aurora survivors. Do we have a CTOU? Was it life pod 2? Yeah. Nothing here, it seems. Or maybe it's on the codes and clues? No. Okay. Off we go. I think my next base, I want to try and make the uh, nuclear reactor. That, that sounds amazing. It's probably going to be way more efficient too. Oh, what is that? Sure, I'll, t I'll take all the creature eggs, I guess. If I'm going to make... Uh Oh damn, I forgot that I... I forgot to empty that. Oh crap. It's okay. Ah! Scusa me, scusa me! Entschuldige mich! Are two songs playing right now overlappingly? Or am I imagining it? Ah, yo, ooh, we have these, these boys again. How do I get down there is the question. What is that? Yo, what? Oh, ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, 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 go! Run! Run, 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 run! Holy shit! There, it's coming for me! Oh, it's right behind me! Fuck, I'm dead! Run! Run! Turn off the lights in case they don't like lights! Oh, am I safe? Repair. Ooh! That was terrifying! I just had a thought. Oh my god, look at this here! The fuck is that? Blood root. These root systems generally extend from one cave wall to another. It has a coiled root system. Where this root system breaks through into open water, its tendrils coil around one another for, en for enhanced structural integrity. Cave wall rooting. Where the root meets the cave wall, it penetrates into the rock and continues to grow, albeit at a slower rate. 
Spelling mistake? Both blood roots and blood vines produce blood oil pustules, confirming that they are in fact one and the same flora species. The majority of the root system thrives within the, within the rock itself, occasionally breaking into open water to reach untapped mineral resources. Or generating vines which feed on water-based nutrients. What the fuck? This is so weird. Oh, I can just pick it up. Oh wait, I needed this to create cr craft something. A red oil-filled pustule contains blood vine seeds, may be processed into benzene. Yeah. Man, they, they take up a lot of space, don't they? I think I'll grab some on the way back. If I have uh, space left over at that time. In fact, I'm just gonna... Man. Blood root, uh, the, I, I don't know, uh, basin. That sounds good to me. Blood root basin. For all my blood root needs. Oh my god, look at where I took it from. It, it's all veiny and nasty. I wonder if there's anything to do with blood in there at all. Or is this is if it's just the PDA calling it that because it resembles blood and it resembles veins? I mean, no matter what, it's nasty. It is nasty. Oh look, we have more of these massive floaters. That's what's keeping this up. So interesting. This is what I need, actually. I don't have a lot of this. Oh, what is that? Hello? Blighter. Uh, uh, hello? Come back here. Let me scan you. Ah, there we go. Man, they look like the biter. <laughs> Another little piece of shit. Piece of caca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hit my thing all you want. Small predator that shares close resemblance to the more common biter, but tends towards a more solitary, less aggressive hunting style. Really? Doesn't seem that way. It has an olfactory stalk, while the red-tipped protrusion on the blighter's head once served as sensory apparatus, it has adapted not to chase but to coax its prey into its path. Ugh. As prey creatures are attacked to the dancing of the stalk, or attracted to the dancing of the stalk, the blighter can dart forward to catch and consume them. Sort of like an anglerfish. Huh? Huh? It has teeth. One row of sharp, piercing teeth is all the blighter needs to tear through its prey. Unless that prey is a sea moth. It's not doing very well penetrating this one. So far. Its eyes. This creature has found little use for eyes in the deep, dark cavern it, it, it inhabits and its eyeballs are likely sensitive to nothing more than broad fluctuations in local light sources. For example, when a meal is crossing its path. Assessment avoid or incapacitate. How about I eat it? I want to eat a blighter. That's going to be one of my few goals in this game. I want to eat a blighter. I just want to eat a... I want to eat a blighter. That's all I want. Look at those. Half translucent schools of fish. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, down we go. God, this area is just cool. Oh, uh oh. Look at that. You can hear it. Uh, you coming for me, sir? What is this? Blood oil. Wait. Is it the same one? It is. Okay, okay. 
Um, sure. Now, I definitely want to... Let me just grab my tools here. Uh, like that. Put this down. There. Let's go hunting. <laughs> Save it. Just in case. I want to hunt and scan. Also, people in the comments told me I can charge this one up, so I'm going to try this one now. I'm going to make you happy, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, Ampeel. You can't do shit, can you? <laughs> Amazing. You angry now? Amp eel. Amp eel. Oh, I get it now. Like amps. I'm so stupid. Amp eel. <laughs> Love it. That's amazing. A powerful and inquisitive predator found inhabiting the deeper waters of the reefs and bulb bush colonies. Hmm. Bush colonies, sorry. It has electrical prongs. Torso-mounted prongs generate a powerful electrical current which the amp eel uses to incapacitate its prey. Jaws. A large, flexible jaw studded with sharp teeth. If a faster, stronger, and hungrier predator lives on the reefs, it appears to avoid the amp eel. I, for good reason, I guess. Electricity can kill almost anything biological if there's enough of it, right? I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna avoid the amp eel. That is not something I wanna, um, you know, mess with. Definitely not. Oh man, oh man. Oh! There's so much to explore. Oh no, we have these bad. Hello? We've got two warpers and an octopus person. Uh oh. If I do remember correctly, when I read about the octopus animals, they were reacting to light, right? So maybe I should try not to make too much light. But then again, you know what? Didn't I bring a... Can I? No. Excuse me. Mr. Predator. There, eat. There we go. It's going towards it, I think. Go, fetch, fetch. I'm going this way. By the way, I'm going without my sea, my uh, sea glider right now. Because I have a feeling that it can sense electricity. And if I activate that, maybe it's bad for me. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, yes. Cyclops depth module. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Fuck you! Go, 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 go! Get in, get in! Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? PDA! Grab it, get out! Integrating new PDA data. Uh-oh. It's not actually detecting me, it seems. I take it back. It may be detecting me. Look, it's attracted to the thing. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. I am getting my ass out of here. Hold on, there's still something lighting down down there. Is that just the... Yeah, that's just the thing I picked up. Hold on. I don't need that right now. Uh, let's go deeper, because why the hell not? I'm not afraid. We can go to 900 meters, bitch! I don't know why I just put that much emphasis on the word, but it felt right in the moment. 
No. No, 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 no. Get away from me. You blighter. You little piece of shit. What is that? Uraninite? Yeah, Uraninite crystal. Oh, I should probably pick it up, shouldn't I? Seek fluid intake. I will, because I brought water just for this occasion. Vital signs stabilizing. You bet your ass is stabilizing. I prepared this stabilization a long time ago. Oh, it goes deeper. Ah! Oh, those are ugly and uh, I hate them. Oh, that is nasty. I don't like extensive fossilized remains at all. It makes me unhappy. Ow! Fuck you. Fuck you. Thank you, thank you! Fuck you! Actually, I wanna scan you. Come here. I need to add you to my catalog! It's more important than my life! Blood crawler, I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! I hate your legs! I hate everything about you! Get out of there! <sighs> Fuck, I hate them so much. Just like spiders in real life, I can't handle it, man. Like, when they have long, thin legs, that- ugh. No, 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 I hate it. God damn. Uh, hold on. I also have this PDA I need to read, but first, uraninite. It's a naturally occurring uranium oxide, highly radioactive and unstable. Yeah, let me just carry that in my possession then. Its primary use is in the production of uranium reactor rods for nuclear generators. Yeah, assessment is applications in nuclear power. No surprise there. Then I have a scavenger and a parasite, the blood crawler. Yikes! Ugh, it even has little mandibles. God damn. An agile, don't like that, territorial scavenger that moves and packs across the seabed. Closely related to the amphibious cave crawler, but adapted to deep sea conditions. Its legs, the greatest difference between the crawlers on 4546B are the four legs which extend more than a meter from the blood crawler's torso. Oh my god, I'm actually getting sweaty palms just reading this. Allowing it to move at surprising speed across the seabed and even to scale walls. Fuck that. Torso. The blood crawler can lower its entire body to bring its mandibles within grasping distance of the carrion on which it feeds. While retaining the, man the maneuverability it requires to avoid its predators. Oh god, look in the background. Get, Get out of there. Fuck all of that. I still haven't read the PDA, I realize. What the hell is that? Poison Lake. What the fuck? Ah! Ah, oh, fuck you. Come here. Yeah. You like that? I hope you learned your lesson. Tell your friends in the afterlife. Not to mess with this sea moth. Oh my god. Ugh, look at that. Nasty. I want to shoot a torpedo right in its face. Ugh, get away. Oh, that's nice actually. They die quickly. Ooh, what is all this? Magnetite. Oh my god. What is this area? Yo, fucking hell, what is this place? Here's the thing, though. I saw vents in this very area, higher up, right? Which could mean that I'm actually close to a alien facility. Right? 
They are taking in water and releasing deoxygenated water back into the ocean. Am I close to a facility? Yo! Spinefish. Ugh, look at that! Looks like a skeleton. Got another amp eel. Love the music. I kind of want to build a base down here, I'm not gonna lie. This is so cool! No, no, no. Ghost Ray. Jesus Christ. I am completely on edge. Okay, first off. Let's calm down for a second. Let's read. Chief Technical Officer use voice lock. Berkeley. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. Shit. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Oh, man. They ended up dying, though. We know this for a fact. I'm the only survivor. We saw this on the Aurora. The Aurora scanned all the life forms, right? And I was the only one alive. Fucking hell. Ghost Ray. These look so cool. This ray species has adapted to deep sea conditions. Its body is fully protected by a translucent skin, and its large wings are capable of generating considerable thrust. Poisonous flesh. As is common for rays on 4546b, the ghost ray's flesh is inedible, making it one of the more resilient herbivores. Feeding behavior. Feeds on plant matter that has settled on the ground in deep sea caverns. Inedible. Yeah. And then we have the little fucking spinefish here. The one that looks like a skeleton. Small school mentality prey fish, closely related to the hoop fish. Yeah. Gray coloration. A combination of near translucent flesh with white ribbon-like markings gives this fish a deathly appearance. It takes advantage of this to avoid the attention of its predators. What, by acting dead? Playing dead? Looking dead? Behavior? Moves in schools for protection, but will disperse and flee if necessary. Whereon those fortunate enough to escape the gaze of their assailants will make for the seafloor and hide amongst the detritus. Assessment is it's edible, but at low calorie count. Cool. about these things right here, man? What is this? <laughs> oh, go away. Go away. Go away. I don't want none of you. I don't want none of you.
Honestly, the thing that's keeping me from making a base down here are those fucking seafloor spiders. I don't want them. I don't want them anywhere within a mile of me. Especially not my base. Look at that! There's like a little waterfall of poison. Underwater waterfall. That's really cool. Uh-oh. What is that thing? Do I want to mess with that, though? I really want to scan it. I don't have a lot of HP, though. This is a bit risky. I do have some fish I can cook. Uh, how do I drop? Shit, where did it go? Ah, shit. Alright, you're free, you bastard. You, you, you got lucky. You got lucky. Okay, no, no, I'm too scared, I'm too scared. No way, no way, no way. That's not happening. I'm not gonna scan that bastard, it's too big. Only if I can hit it with the... with the charged up stasis rifle. Only then will I feel confident. My goodness. I should try to find a way out already. Act dead, act dead. Ah! Go! Get out! I do not enjoy this. I mean, I'm immensely enjoying it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Grab that! Go! No fear. Tell me it hits. One more. One more. Come on, bitch. Is it not hitting? There we go. Scan it. Scan, scan it. Ghost Leviathan Juvenile. Run! Uh! Get away from me! Run! <laughs> Run! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I scanned you. I need you, I need you. What is that? Alien base. Alien base. Hiding behind the waterfall. A classic! Won't fool me, though! I figured it would be one of these. You're not gonna fuck my Seamoth, are you? Yo. Yo. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Why is there no water down? Th this is this an alien facility that has been overgrown? Oh, tell me I tell me I don't need a fucking cube because I didn't bring any.
actually, I just realized something. When I discover a gate like this where there's nothing popping up allowing me to put in an ion cube, maybe this is just an out point. This is connected to some other gate somewhere else in the world here, on the planet. And that is the gate I have to activate. Meaning that the gate I found at the bottom of the first alien facility has a partner gate somewhere else that I need to activate. Right? That is my understanding of this. It doesn't mean it cannot be activated. I just need to activate it from its partner gate somewhere else on the planet. Cool. Wait. There's nothing else here? What the fuck was... That is clipping through. Huh? Okay. Okay. Calm down. Let's read. Let's read about this bastard I just scanned. Leviathan. Ooh, it's in the same class as the Reefback? That's interesting. Is it just based on size, then? God, it looks cool as hell, though. I mean, look at this. I'm, I'm not comfortable being in here like that. I'm going to go over here. The clipping is scaring me. I wonder if it's because I aggroed it and it's trying to get to me. But the game logic doesn't allow it to go inside this base, but it's sort of clipping through. I don't know. This large predator has adapted to live in deep waters and dark cave systems attacking anything and everything in its quest to grow larger. It's Torso. Yo! Yo, 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 fuck off! It's totally aggroed on me. Oh, it's attacking my shit! No! Repair! We are getting out of here. Run! Run, 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 run! You're clipping, you're clipping. That's fine, that's fine. Get out of here. Where's the exit? Here, here, there. Uh, go towards my... Didn't I have a... Up there, Bloodroot Basin. Go! It's after me, isn't it? No, I'm fine. I'm okay. Hold on. Here. Go, 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 go. Man, I'm deep. I am so freaking deep. That's the exit. I made it. Woo! Holy shit. That was cool. Alien facility. I should have, uh, I should have called it alien facility and then put in a depth as well, I think. Not quite, uh, very useful there, the way I called it. Alien facility. Maybe called it underwater facility? I think I'll take this Bloodroot Basin, uh, beacon with me. It's just gonna confuse me later because this is essentially the same place as the alien facility. Yike. Still have a bit of space. So let me grab some more of this. Yep, yep, yep. Peeper, I will eat you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Vital signs stabilizing. What is this? Deep room. Hey, Aritos. A discolored relative of the S 
A discolored relative of the acid mushroom adapted to low light conditions. Considerably more acidic than its shallow dwelling cousin, it may have applications in advanced fabrication. Hydrochloric acid. Yeah, bitch. I'm getting all the big stuff here. What do I not need? Do I have any space in my storage locker here? No. Mm. I want to say fuck the gold. Because that's plenty of that everywhere else. What else do I want to say goodbye to? Magnetite, possibly? Yeah. Goodbye, Magnetite. I want more of the deep shrooms. I am going tripping later on these deep ash shrooms. Okay. Heading back. That was a cool ass expedition. If I do say so myself, that felt great. From the planning to the travel there to the execution and my escape, everything came together. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Yep. I also wonder if this facility that I just discovered here is the one... Is one of the two facilities mentioned uh, in the background static that I analyzed at the first alien facility uh, that mentioned two other alien facilities. One of them was a testing lab and the other one was a... I forgot what it was, but it was a 1200 meters. I mean... Mm, it seemed like this facility down there was an out point for a gateway. And it didn't seem like I, I could uh, venture further in there, unless I missed something. So maybe it's not actually an alien facility, it's just an outpoint. Hmm. Hard to, t hard to say. Yeah, not sure. I love this track right here. The way the beat drops. Yeah! What I don't love is that there's another track playing at the exact same time. It's, is this just another bug or... This game is like riddled with bugs even after all these years it seems. I can't even begin to imagine how this game was when it launched. Honestly, it doesn't take away. Not that much at least. The game is fucking amazing. It really just is a smaller problem in the context of this entire experience so far. Ah, that one was a biggie. Sorry. I think I completely demolished a, a little fish's life there. I think in the next episode I'm gonna go build a big base near the next alien facility. I think I got some directions on where to, uh, on where that was. You know what, I think I may actually just go do it now in this episode because, um, and I'm, I'm gonna have to plan out exactly what materials I will need. I'll bring two storage modules, maybe, can I even make four storage modules on my Seamoth? Hmm. If I can, I will. Uh, then I'll bring everything I need to create a basic setup, and then I'll explore from there. Maybe even build a scanner room, expedite my uh, collection of resources. It's gonna be great. First off, empty inventories. Um, advanced, no, metals. Lead, quartz, advanced. Hmm, don't have much space here, do I? have two of these then. For now, I'll put it in here. Sh sure, no, yeah. This can be flora now. And I'll put in um, 
all of this and that and these. Like that. Fauna can be, I guess, this one. Let's put in that. And then I also had a bunch of stuff in my storage module. Let me go ahead and grab that as well. Oh wait, some of that was not a f uh, fauna. It was actually just blood stuff. But I can probably craft. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Let me eat it. And then also drink some water, because I have that as well. Uh, where did I put that? Crafted? Here. Let me drink. There we go. Um, what was the plan just now? Right. How did I make this into benzene? I just need three of them. Okay. I have exactly three. How perfect is that? Benzene. Oil and solvent applications. We chemisting now. Chemistrify. Chemistrying. That's not a word. But it feels good. It feels good in my tummy. Um, sure. Let me click on that. Playing partially translated broadcast. Okay. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. Yep, don't like that. That is not pleasing me at all right now, because that is something that is scaring me. Apparently there is a <laughs> fucking alien, I presume, hunting me, and it knows I'm alive. And it already destroyed one thing, and now it's going for me? What the fuck? Why did I pick that up on my radio? Subject 11783 destroyed. Subject. Could that be part of the live specimen testing that I read about? Those could be considered subjects, right? Maybe they were testing stuff on these subjects? Hmm. Not sure. It could also just be maybe Commander U. Sorry, CCOU. That was destroyed. And now it's looking for me. Because I was in the area of CTO's use last known position. It's possible, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So what I want to do now, I want to quickly check what it takes to make those storage modules. Three titanium and a lithium. I want to make four of them. There are three of them, so I have four in total. Uh, I don't have enough. Shit. And lithium. So let me make that. Oh yeah, I make it over here. I'm going to be transporting so many things now. Now, I wonder where the storage modules go then, because there's only one on each side, right? Maybe I can only have two. Definite. Oh, yeah, I only want three of them, I guess, because I need this depth module. If I'm going to build a base somewhat deep, I kind of need this one. Yeah, this is good. Ah, here it is. Look on the side. Oh, and then it's... I don't like the configuration of that. It displeases me. What about now? It's on that side. I kind of want both on the top. Can I not have that? There we go. That's what I like to see. And then we have one on the right here, don't we? Yes. Cool. Did I empty this completely? I did. Okay. Creature X. 
I will bring them later. Uh, by the way, I have a question for you guys, and uh, maybe you won't have the chance to uh, answer in the comments, and maybe there's not enough time for me to read it and take it into account by the time I get to what I'm about to tell you. But I'll tell you anyway. Um, what do you think about the idea that if I'm, up, if I'm about to build a base somewhere far away, I will have to haul a bunch of mat mat materials and eggs and all the stuff I need? Um, would you rather that I just include all that in the episode, or should I sort of just transport that off episode, play it on my own, and then come back when I transported all the materials? So far, I've sort of just done it all raw. Should I continue like that? What do you guys think? Just let me know in the comments. And maybe also for future episodes of other games, maybe? I'm just curious at this point uh, what you guys think. Yeah. I'm very uh, tempted to just always include everything, just as a matter of principle, but yeah. Just curious whether or not everyone just hates that, you know? I get it's not very interesting to watch me haul materials back and forth. I get that. Um, so yeah, just check. Alright then. I want to... find out exactly where that facility was. So that would be... data downloads? Alien data? Terminal data? Alien data terminal? No, not that one. Construction material, no, not that one either. Scan, artifacts. Ion cube, energy core, no. Doomsday device, hmm, which one was it? Codes and clues, alien facility locations. Disease research facility, this is the one I want to go to next. Cave system with extensive fossil record. Hold on. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, hold on. Didn't I have a PDA message saying something? There. Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. I think I actually did discover this exact place just now. Hmm. Maybe there's another opening to the alien facility that I did not find. Live specimen study. Its objective is synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Kara. Speaking of that, how am I doing on that? Still just infected. Got it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so I guess I'm going back to this place. Good thing I dropped the beacon, isn't it? I mean, worst case, I do have the uh, beacon from CTOU. Speaking of CTOU, where are you? That was not meant to be a pun. It just happened by accident. Remove that. Alien facility. Can I rename them from here, I wonder? That would be cool. Probably not, no. Staging outpost, prawn suit. Hmm. Life pod. Life pod 12. Have I been there? I put it on yellow because I wasn't sure. Maybe I've been there. It's not clear to me yet, but I will go there at some point. This one I have been to. Let me just put it at green. But I will go back to it at some point. I'm going to keep it at yellow, I guess. I really like this beacon manager. It's, it's actually very, very helpful. Save the game. Cool. Alright. So, if I want to build a base in that area, I think what I need... What do I want to build? A basic outline of a base. Of course, I will need a multi-purpose room. I'm just going to write every raw material down here. I could also, of course, pin it all, but I need to get the total, you know, in total here. Six uh, titanium. Then I'd also want a moon pool. So, two time ingots. Lubricant. Two lead. 
Then I also want to make a scanner room. Five titanium. And I need two a copper. And gold. And a table core sample. TBC. Um, maybe some connectors, just a bunch of titanium, I guess. A bunch of raw materials, and I need power. I need power. Thermal plant? What is this? Converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. In the jelly shroom cave, there was a huge vent. Like a, a volcanic sort of um, event where a bunch of heat came out, right? Is that what this is for? I can build that on top of that? But that that is then highly reliant on having one of those geological features in the area. Which I'm not sure I will have. I guess I, I, I could scope out the area a bit before I decide on where to build the base. But right now I am leaning a bit towards the nuclear reactor. I want that bastard. Alien containment, I want it. I want it bad, actually. Of course I need a coffee vending machine in my new base. I just got a new radio message. Let's just check it out. Playing partially translated broadcast. Ah! Nine new biological subjects designated. Look, that scared me. Hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. That's terrifying. N Wait, what? Nine other subjects? Really? Who are the other eight? Assuming I'm one of them. By the way, the fact that I'm picking this up on my radio... Does that mean these aliens are conversing with each other using radio waves? They have a fucking radio built into their brain, and that's how they're communicating with each other across long distances? Sharing locations of subjects to be hunted? Ugh! That makes me very uneasy, and there's a fucking fruit fly right in front of my face. I'm going nuts. Sorry, I have to kill that fruit fly right now, and then I'll take a break, and I'll see you in the next episode of Subnautica. I'm having a fucking blast with this game. It's, it, it's fucking incredible. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.